everybody um i'm showing the i don't know why the name of this channel is daka daka but everyone knows it by kino casino which is a uh, pretty funny show that most people that watch it find is funny even the people they make fun of even the people that like the people they make fun of i think they find it funny but I wasn't necessarily promoting their show as much as I was saying it's illustrative of what I've said all along, which is these groups that traffic and outrage, like uh, like America First, these groups that are out there being uh, you know like pro Putin or whatever the controversial take of the day is, or like the NJP. Although we're not really talking about them right now in, in this instance because they're not really on too many people's radar or they don't know who the fuck they are. Like, they're the Spurgs of the Spurgs, kind of. But America First is on at least more people's radars. And it is interesting to see a show like Kino Casino get such a big following and get so many viewers. Which corresponds with my belief that these outrage generating uh, types of groups that go against the grain, that go against the current, that say like, hey, what is the, what's the pulse of the day? Let me go against it just to try to create some outrage. And like, this is my path to attention, power, whatever. I've always said they're gonna they're gonna get more hate for every fan or follower. They're gonna get like two, three, four, ten x as many haters. And I think that's what this show shows, which um, yeah, I think is a good thing. It's also entertaining to see uh, to see that develop. A group like America First. Nick Fuentes embellish and welcome the haters and try to antagonize them. Well, you know what? That might not go according to plan, right? Like, apparently, they're all getting swatted while they do their live streams because they piss somebody off who has some capabilities. Like, when you go full scorched earth against what people find is sensible. Uh, things like this are going to happen. And now they're getting swatted, which uh, I disavow, wink, wink. No, I'm just joking. Like, it's definitely illegal. Shouldn't be swatting people. But the clipping and mocking and stuff like that that's not illegal, that's totally legitimate, and I think it's effective. Because there's just hours and hours of these people acting like idiots. And you control the narrative when you, when you clip and showcase what it is they're saying. I mean, you could do it in a dishonest way or you could do it in a completely honest way. But like, the point is, people aren't going to watch hours of this footage. So it's much helpful when somebody clips it and shows you what to see. And then it defines these people more than they want to define themselves, which is usually bullshit anyway. Oh yeah, I'm America first. And here's clips of me praising Putin, wanting to put a fellow head of a democratic country in prison and execute him. Here's me praising the Chinese government to like crush crush Hong Kong and Taiwan or whatever the fuck he said. So I think it's definitely effective. Uh, it's definitely effective and kind of negates their movement. Because it just shows them in a negative light. It shows them to be the jokes they are. And uh, it just illustrates my point. So I just wanted to say I was fucking right. That's the point of this video. No. No, I mean... If you hate America first, if you hate NJ, nobody even knows who the fuck NJP is, which is interesting. Like, um, 
America First has outplayed them. I mean, not really. But as far as, like, getting attention and getting on people's radar, they have outplayed them. They got their own platform they developed, the cozy thing. They're getting more and more... You know, like, YouTube, Twitter's lost is their game because they're getting people that are banned off Twitch and YouTube that they don't want on their network, so they're, they're pulling people in that way. Um, they fucked plenty of other shit up. Like, at their incredible event, Halfpack, which is the greatest success in the history of events, where they called for, like, multiple public officials to be executed... And then they got disavowed by anyone who's in the public eye because who's going to hitch their wagon to fucking Fuentes and allow themselves to be embarrassed by what these fucking clowns do? So, like, they've been successful in the sense that, like, they've been getting attention a lot more than NJP or Wignats. The problem is most of it is negative. And they've, uh... I don't know. They've expanded their appeal amongst, like, this smallish group of aggrieved dissidents. But, like, everyone else thinks they're a fucking joke. But they've been able to get attention where others don't even know who the fuck they are. No one knows who the fuck NJP is. Like, America First is just kind of, like, uh, they're more entertaining. They're more fun to laugh at. So that group is is now, you know, like Fuentes, Beardson, some of his other main streamers like Kai Clips or who's what like Woza or some fucking guy, some weird ass looking guy. Just a bunch of complete clowns that deliver they have their own fucking network and they're always streaming, so there's unlimited content. This Kino Casino shit goes on like four or five hours for a stream, and it's on out like I think it's on multiple times a week. I've never even watched the fucking thing, other than limited pieces because it's too goddamn long. But there, it's on there. Uh, so I, I think a movement like America First, if you don't like it, if you want to defeat it, or similar movements. that gets our attention from just trafficking and outrage. The way you fuck a movement like that up is just uh, do what Kino Casino is doing. Like, just clip them, throw bombs at them, get them to react to those bombs. And everybody is fucking with America first. And how is that uh, movement, like, how is that going to play out over time? Not well. There's going to be people... uh, probably leaving that movement and dishing dirt, revealing private information or private conversation or doxing or who the fuck knows, swatting, releasing private dossiers, who the fuck knows. But, um, I don't know. I just think these tactics are effective. Just the clipping and the constant mocking and going after these people. Who deserve it? Because they do it to other people, right? So, you can't, like, raid other people's streams and make fun of people and then bitch and moan when somebody does it to you. He also appeared on Russia Today. And it was pretty hilarious to see him... to see him um, all triggered about the treatment of Russians... You know, like, what, Russians that live abroad, when, like, all his show is, or a big part of his show and movement, is, like, mocking certain segments of the population, mocking and, uh, (laughs) expressing ill will towards certain segments of the population, and now he's going on Russia TV and crying about, like, how Russians are being treated. Don't get me wrong, I don't want anyone to be mistreated, but, like, (laughs) <laughs> How could anyone not see the posturing of that? <laughs> like, it's it's pretty funny. It's like what SJWs do, where they, they talk about, like, punching Nazis and killing conservatives and all these horrible things they want to do to, like, white people and conservatives. 
and then they whine because, you know, like, um, I don't know, some minority, they didn't heat his coffee up enough. So like, this is an expression of institutional racism that needs to be protested against. It's kind of like that, but even, even worse because it's more cynical. You got people like, yeah, and pur- purposely trying to antagonize against certain segments of the population and then going on a foreign TV network and whining about, oh, your people are being treated negatively in the West. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of funny, but like, it'd be funny if people actually believed him, like it, they thought he was being legit. But anyway, um, I don't know. Kino Casino is really funny if you have the time to watch it. I just, the clips are good because I'm not watching five, six, seven hour fucking streams. Anyway, America first, bunch of fucking clowns. They're never going to be able to outlast just all this shit flowing their way that they've invited. So it'll be interesting to see um, <laughs> the developments and how it, that ends up. Anyway, everyone have a good day.